Hi friends, families, acquaintances, enemies, and everyone else. Um, we decided to make this video so then you guys could be updated on us. Um, our story together. Our story together. So far. So far. Because it's going to continue. Because it's like a book and we're on chapter one. <laughs> We met here at Southeastern University, like two days after everybody was moved into college. We had, um, he's a broadcasting major, I'm a theater major, and they had a required uh, communications meeting that all the comm majors were supposed to go to. And we met outside of that. Very romantic, right? Oh yeah, yes, it was very romantic. Um, what happened was, like, we were in this room taking a test or whatever, and then we came outside, and like, I noticed we were socializing. She was. I was just standing there. Because I was in the mindset of, like, I want to make all the friends I can. Just, I want to yeah. know everybody. So all. I already had all my theater friends that I was hanging out with. And then there was a bunch of more calm kids. Cause, like, I didn't even know they existed. So I'm going up to all of them. I'm like, hi, my name's Veronica. What's your name? And they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And she had red hair. It was really cool. So that was actually a conversation started. It was like, oh, my gosh, you're a ginger. I think I talked to you first because I'm a man. Um, and, and like, well, somehow we got talking like that outside of that meeting. Um, um, and yeah, and really we just like hit it off really fast and really well and uh, Yeah, potentially. Yeah, so that's how we met more cool the stuff to say that we can't say because we're on short on time Our first day That's debatable. Let's say that she believes that before we went on our first date Our first date happens once we got together apparently but really it happened before we got together you know, um, because I was all like, hey, let's go out to eat. And so we did. And but it, wasn't it was just intention. us together, right? It was just And she's us. just like, oh, this is fun. This I is tried to get people to go with us, though. Like, Clearly, I was like, everyone knew we were meant to be, so they decided to leave us together. Um, so we did. It was just the two of us. We went out to Sunny's, which is one of my favorite restaurants. Yeah, and the man there was just a chap. He was wonderful. Yeah, because Jeff goes, and he's like, all right, well, um, I'll pay the bill. And I was like, oh, no, I'll pay for my portion. And our waiter guy there was right there. He's like, well, I'm listening to the man. And it was like <laughs> it was wonderful i was like i got you you're awesome and uh and then she like looked at me like hmm like what is going on here and i'm like you, i think you know what's going on now um and so that was technically our first date she doesn't see it like I don't that think it was so what was our first date then i don't know um see it was our first date no it wasn't our first date because like we always did a lot of stuff together the two of us uh, even before we got together but then once we got together we did a lot of the same things just we were so together. we were dating before we, we were dating. We weren't dating so we were always dating <laughs> but we were so this question is irrelevant <laughs> okay <laughs> next go on <laughs> oh. so three weeks into the school starting after our first date after hanging out a lot we went to the Berlin K concert and we would stay up all hours of the night us and Steven Shelter just being awesome Steven uh, three weeks into the school he uh, we went to his dorm and we're just hanging out and we watched Tangled which is one of our favorite movies uh -huh. and after uh, the movie played he looked over at me and he asked me will you be my girlfriend and she looked at me sincerely. And I said no. <laughs> she did. So I said no. And fast well, first forward. she said, did, are you serious? Yeah, because I didn't think he was serious. And I'm like, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. um, and then so she we said waited no. three more weeks. Uh, we hung out still. We were still buds, which was really nice. Because um, I really I, liked him a lot. I wasn't giving up there. <laughs> and three weeks later, we got all of our stuff stolen. And everything. Everything. Actually. About two thousand dollars worth of things. Because we go into the park and like that's what we like to do is like go places and just hang out with each other and then with other people. And there's this kid walker we were like playing with. We were there for like two hours just playing with these kids. And we go back to where we parked our car where we had like locked it up, it was secure, and somebody broke in through the back door and stole both our backpacks. Yeah. Um so that night Ooh. after a discussion about God and thankfulness and and, everything and attitude somehow we're super happy yeah so we were just we like, just lost everything wow. and she's like oh it's okay we could have got hurt and i'm like <laughs> why are you so happy i don't understand i love you 
<laughs> Will you marry me now? Yes. <laughs> Jumping. No. So that night, uh, after talking it through, we decided we were an awesome team and potentially people... relationship would be a good idea. That's officially how we got together. That's officially, because like then we could walk around holding hands and stuff. Like we didn't do that before, so we weren't no. dating before. No, that's awkward. Holding hands without dating title. Yeah. Um. No. Yeah. So like that night, I remember it was like 3 a.m. and it was my birthday uh, night of my birthday. So it was like my birthday day. Um. And so it was like the best birthday present. I was like, I didn't want anything. Just this is fine. So then I was like, can we like walk around campus? So we like walked around campus holding hands, um, even though it was really late. It was like she's like, okay. I'm like, we're like, this is so cool. Just, <laughs> um, so yeah. Moving on. Fast forward three and a half months. Basically, we're doing amazing. We're getting closer, and that was my main prayer. Um, Ever since we got together, I would pray God either bring us closer or bring us farther apart because I did not want to be in a relationship that I wasn't supposed to be in. Um, and I know, yes, you could say something po prophetic and profound. Yeah. So I'm sorry, I was like zoning out. I'm like looking I, at these rocks and they're cool. Even though we were in a relationship, it was just like we were becoming even better and better friends. Like we'd already started off the year as like uh, brewing, like 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 we're basically becoming best friends. And so then we get together, and it's like it's not like. We stopped getting to know each other. Like we began getting to know each other on such an awesome deeper level. Yeah, yeah. and it was awesome uh, watching Jeff grow in Christ, and amazing um, seeing just like how the two of us together could like impact other people, and how the two of us could get, like how much of an influence we even were on each other as far as um, following the Lord and uh, everything. So, uh, so three and a half months of our relationship continuing to grow. Um, we had three weeks off of Christmas break where we didn't see each other. Then, um, two weeks into the school year, we uh, decided to go to South Carolina, where Jeff is from, and... Woo! SC! <laughs> yeah, so we went to South Carolina, and um, she had no idea, obviously. Um, I was like, in the back of my mind. <laughs> um, so we went to South Carolina, and she loves downtown Charleston because it's like really Beautiful. old. And she was like geeking out the whole it's time. Similar. And Hello. I knew she would geek out. I was like, oh, this is this is the first step to a to a good night. Um, and so we went there, and she's like, ah, and I'm like, yeah. Um, so I kept giving her hints, like, okay, later tonight, I think we're gonna do something, but you know, we might not. Like, and I, I don't. I thought he'd forget about it because I thought he'd be like, I thought it was just an idea that popped in his mind, like, we'll go do something. So I kept reminding him randomly throughout the day. I was like, hey, are you still going to do something tonight? Like, I'm like, I yeah, potentially. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely doing something. Um, so the whole time we're down there, I'm, like, talking in with my family at home, and we're, they're, like, setting up. Like, I gave them an idea of what I wanted, and it was, like, basically in the woods a little bit from my house. And it is beautiful. Yes. And he found... I'm gonna take a look. Go ahead, I'll be better. A clearing in the woods, okay? And um, he set up, they had a love seat set up with about a million blankets because it was like 20 degrees, a little table with like stuff for s'mores, so chocolate and marshmallows, and they had little candles inside these lanterns that they placed everywhere, and a little basket of a blanket, and a big lantern, and it was just base and a little campfire so we could actually cook the s'mores. So basically, think of like the most romantic scene out in the middle of the night in the woods, and you have it. Okay, so... So that was what was going on. Yeah, they were setting all of that up. Yeah, and I'm, like, on the phone secretly. Like, she's, like, I in the bathroom. I'm like, hey, guys, uh, how's, <laughs> how's it going? Um, and so, like, they're doing this. And they actually sent me a picture and everything. I'm like, fantastic. And then so we get back. And, like, my family's, like, all gone. And she doesn't really notice that. Well, I did notice the house was super quiet. And he's like... Mm -hmm. We like get home. No, I did because of this because okay. he says I'm gonna go to the bathroom and he's gone for like 30 minutes. I was gone for 20. He was gone for like 30. And, and I had to go. I had to go check it and like look at it because like I wanted to make sure it was fitting for what I was going to do. So he I was yeah. Gone for like 30 minutes and he comes back and, and I like, sprinted over there. I, I made a joke about him being far. in the bathroom for 30 minutes. I was like, where were you? He's like, oh well, my dad's in the shop. I'm like, where's Caleb and Josh who are his brothers? He's like, oh I don't. No, because they're like <laughs> out setting up the fire and everything. Um, and I was just like, okay, whatever. Yeah, so we were like, okay, let's go. We probably should go 
getting kind of late. So like we go downstairs and stuff, and like actually like all my family randomly like comes in the door yeah, at the like, same time. They're like, "Hey, what are you guys doing?" They're like, they knew. <laughs> yeah, they, and I was like, "Yeah." She was clueless. She's like, "Yeah, we're going out." And they're like, "No, duh, we know." Um, <laughs> I didn't know they knew, so I was like, "Not no duh." <laughs> yeah, no, it wasn't. Yeah. So we get in the car, and I'm like, "All right, we're going really far away." Um, is that okay with you? She's like, yeah, I guess so, you know. Not like a good no, she's like, yeah, that's okay with me. <laughs> um, so we go about... 10 seconds. 10 seconds down the road. It's probably more like a minute. And he's just like, Wah! into the woods. I'm like, what is he doing? And so we pull up into the woods and we see this uh, picturesque scene, the most romantic scene ever I just, just described to you guys. Uh, sitting there, it's 11 o'clock at night, all the stars are out, the moon is full, it's beautiful. And I started crying because it was gorgeous. She did, I was <laughs> like, oh, this is the night. <laughs> um, yeah, and so, yeah, we talked for like, oh, three hours. We talked for like three hours. Wow. We just sat there and talked, and I hadn't any idea that there was gonna be a ring. I was like, I didn't think there was a Yeah, she like kept saying things like, oh my goodness, like, this is the most amazing date ever. She's like, I don't think I'll ever forget this. And in the back of my mind, I'm like, I hope you never do. And he kept saying stuff like, I just want to live the rest of my life with you and really sincere stuff like that. And I was just like, okay, okay. <laughs> He kept looking at this little basket with like these blankets in it. Like he kept looking at it. I'm like, no I, ring is that big. I'm like, there's no ring. And at one point during here you go. At one point during the night, we need to get this. I probably <laughs> he gives me um, this plaque, and the plaque says, "A true love story never ends." And I'm like feeling it because I'm like, oh my goodness, this is like perfect. Is there a ring? No, there's not a ring. And then he's like, gives me this super sincere speech, and he's like, Veronica. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I want to grow old with you. And he gets down on his knees, pulls the ring out of nowhere, and it's like, will you marry me? And I said, yes. And it was, yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, because I can. She was <laughs> like, are you serious? I'm like, yeah. And then we're both crying. And I was like, <laughs> he was crying. I was, it was fun. <laughs> I love you. I love you. So if you have any questions, just uh, ask them the contact us thing on the side. Um, yeah. So, that's it. The end. Hope you enjoyed it. Ah! <laughs> Woo!